Hello, this is Matthew Campagna from The Turning Gate, and in this video we're going to take a look at my personal website, and I am going to show you how I use TTG CE3 Publisher to update my image galleries with the utmost efficiency. So the Publisher is our published services plugin for Lightroom and CE3 image galleries, and it allows us to create and manage galleries on a whim. We build collections here in Published Services, and then we publish those collections to the web with the press of a button, this one right here, the Publish button. So my personal website is CampaniaPictures.com, and I've built it using TTG CE3 Gallery, Pages, and Publisher. So let's skip on over and have a look. So this is it. This is my website, CampaniaPictures.com. And we're looking at my gallery index, which I have named Photographs in the menu. And these are my galleries. These are places I've been. So you can see that I've got uh, galleries from California and Cambodia, Hawaii, Hong Kong. But there is not a gallery from my recent trip to China. So that's what we're going to do in this video, is I'm going to create a gallery for China. So let's head into Lightroom, and these are some of my images from China. I've not even finished editing my photos from this trip, so this isn't all of them. This is just the first few. And uh, for the sake of brevity and keeping this video brief, I'm only going to upload two images for now. So first thing I'm going to do is come to Publish Services. I am going to hit the plus button and create album. And I'm going to make an album called China. I can give a title, China. I can give it a slug. I can give it a description. Images from China. Uh, if I wanted to, I could give it some content, and I can use Markdown to format my content in various ways, but I'm going to skip it for now. The beautiful thing about using Publisher is that I can come back anytime I want and change all of this. So if I want to add text later or change the gallery template or whatever, I can totally do that. But this is good for now. I'm going to hit Create. And you can see that it has created an empty collection here in Published Services under the Campania Pictures instance of the publisher that I use to maintain my website. Um, so I go back to my collection, and I am going to grab two images, drag them into Published Services, into the China collection. And you can see that they are here grouped under New Photos to Publish. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Publish button, and now we wait. And what the publisher is going to do is it's going to create a thumbnail and a large rendition for each of these images, and it's going to upload them to my website. And then it's going to show us that gallery, that new gallery, in the web browser. So it just takes a couple of moments for these to, uh, to grind through. And as it uh, creates those images, you're going to see them. It's going to keep track. So when it finishes the first image, there it is. It dropped it into a separate queue for published photos. So now that one's done. It's working on the second image. And what's beautiful about this is that if, for whatever reason, you have to stop a job in the middle, um, you won't lose your progress. You can just quit the job. The images that are finished will be on the web. And then you can come back and you can resume the job anytime you want. And right now I'm just adding two. I can come back and I can add more images later, or if I finish my edits and I decide that I want to take some images out, I can remove them later. The publisher lets us do all of this very easily. But here's my gallery. Both images are now online, which is really cool. Uh, I can load those up and scroll through them. If I go back to my photographs page, you can see that it automatically created the China gallery. It's right here. Um, so that's it. That's how it works. And you saw how easy that was. I just dragged them into a collection and I hit the publish button. But maybe I edit my image. Maybe I decide I want this image to be black and white. So I go back into my collection and you can see that it has requeued that image as a modified photo to republish. So then I go ahead, I hit the publish button again. I wait for it to grind through the new rendition with my changes. And it's got to contact the website first, and then 
establish a connection and start sending the images upstream, which it's now doing. And it's done. And here it comes. And there's my photo, black and white. So you can see that it uh, updated with the new rendition of the photo, which it automatically marked to be republished. If I decide I don't want it to be black and white anymore, I can take it back to color, go back to my collection, and once again, it's marked to republish. So that's it. That's the publisher. And that's how easy it is to manage your galleries when you use it. So once again, this has been TTG CE3 Publisher. The Core Elements 3 plugins are available now from the turninggate.net. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.